What is up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're gonna be playing a demo of Valentine Panic, which is actually made by Michaela Laws. I believe it is her newest game, which is gonna be out on Valentine's Day. Uh, so basically, I don't really even know what this game is about. I wanted to surprise myself. I could have gone to her game page and read it, read what it was about. Um, that may hurt me a little bit depending on how much I need to know, but I'd like to go in completely blind and see exactly what this game has in store. And with that being said, if you wouldn't mind, go enable bell notifications for my channel. That way you can stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully you enjoy. I'll just go, I don't even know, I don't even know if I'm going to be playing a girl or not. I'm going to put my actual name this time. For those of you that actually don't know it, because there's some people that don't know it. There we go. Signing up for a part-time job was never easy, especially post-holidays. A lot of stores and businesses only hired extra employees during the holiday rush, but now that the holidays were over, there was no need to hire more people for work. Trying to find a job during this time was torture enough. However, when your parents tell you to get get off your butt and find a job, Levi, you pretty much don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, if only life was as easy as it was in simulation games. You could find a job, hang out with friends, and be happy with someone you eventually grow to love for the rest of your life. Sadly, life is not that easy. All right, we'll call you if we think you're the right fit. Thanks for stopping by. Right fit. All right, thanks. If I'm the right fit, really? You can't tell if I am one from my interview? Jeez. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, that was the fifth job I had applied for this week. I was good at interviews, but luck seemed to walk right out of the door alongside me each time I was given a chance at employment. Needless to say, I was in a, pa uh, <laughs> in a pickle. What am I going to do now? I was certain that I wasn't going to find anything around town. I thought about looking around the city, but the price of the commute would not have been worth it. I was stuck in a place where nothing was available. Letting out a sigh, I mentally waved my white flag of surrender to life <laughs> and started to prepare myself for the rant of a lifetime from my parents. I mean, hey, we're trying. They, uh, come on. You know, if we're trying, they can't say nothing, right? We're, we're, you know, jobs aren't that easy to come by these days. Until. Whoa, who are you? Huh? Hello? Hello. Adorable youth in need of a job. It depends on what it is, especially with some random ladies that are calling me. Uh, yes, this is Alex. Who's this? Oh, just a concerned third party. I heard that there was someone going around looking for a job, and I just so happened to have a job opening at my cafe. Someone? I'm sure there's plenty of people. I cannot be the only one. Wait, really? My heart jumped into my throat. Gross, that's not healthy. This was my chance. However, something seemed off about this. How did this person get my number? Of course! Have you heard of the Pink Lady Cafe? We've recently renovated the place and expanded, so we need more hands on deck. Isn't it the same cafe in Seduce Me? Because I, I could have sworn that the intro sounded like that. A cafe, huh? That probably means I'd become a waiter or something like, like that. Low pay, but it's a job. Yeah, I know. Why are we bitching? We don't have nothing right now. So, what do you say? Would you like an interview? Why not? I'll try my luff. Uh, sure. Excellent. I Why would will I deny schedule that? you for, uh, still gotta get through that Netflix series an hour from now. What? What about a Netflix series? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, relax. I was contacted by the last person you were interviewed, and they said that you didn't go far. I'm just around the corner so you can relax and prepare before the interview happens. What are you going around blowing everybody? How do you know these things? You just, you just connected with everybody in town? Okay. Awesome. I'll see you then. All right, I guess we have a job interview. That was really weird. <laughs> Still, I got one last chance to get a job. This can't... You've been applying for a week. This is not your last chance. I can't look a gift horse in the mouth now. It was better than nothing. Taking a deep breath, I looked up the Pink Lady Cafe and studied as much as I could. The Pink Lady Cafe, a cafe that opened 10 years ago. At least it was an established place. Okay. O owned by K. Okay, K who? So it is. It is the same. This is like the same universe as the Seduce Me people, uh, which is interesting. Maybe we'll. Maybe we will be the one serving, and we might see them. I mean, who knows, man? I'm. I'm. I'm getting kind of pumped. Um, does this K not have a last name? What about her a first name? What is K supposed to be? Her initial? Whatever. <laughs> I decided to move on and keep reading. Apparently, the cafe's focus was coffee, sweets, and relaxation. Sure, they offered other things on the menu, but their primary products were baked goods. So this really is a cafe. The decor seems nice. A lot of pink, though. <laughs> well, it was called the Pink Lady Cafe for a reason. I started to make my way to the address listed on the site and continued to read on. As soon as I arrived, I could tell something was off. <laughs> what? Hello? Hello. We'll be right with you. Oh, my goodness. 
I was shocked to see no one else in the cafe besides, uh, besides for a guy dressed as a chef sitting at a table and a girl rushing into the kitchen. Trinity, calm down. We'll get the ingredients. Leah, <laughs> you are not helping. Out. <laughs> well, damn, she's trying to help. Before I could blink, the girl apparently named Leah came running out in a panic. After getting her br uh, breathing to slow down, she looked back into the kitchen with a grimace. I told you not to reorganize the pantry. I just wanted to help. That's yeah. all. See, she's just trying to be nice. Nah, it's all right, Leah. Trinity's just freaky obsessed with her organization. That's all. She'd even kick out her own brother to reorganize everything. <laughs> Do you have little, like, hair clips in your hair? I'm just wondering. Well, she is your sister, so you'd know best. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> finally, Lee and the waiter finally turned to look at me, taking in the fact that I was waiting. Oh, hello. Can we help you? Kind of ironic, considering he's called the waiter. Um, yes, I was scheduled for an interview in about a half an hour. Oh, damn, we're early as heck. At that moment, the waiter and Leah looked to each other in shock. Is this the person? The one Kay told us to test? What the hell's going on? Wait, test? Sounds about right. Oh, dear lord. Hold on, what do you mean, test? Finally, the pair looked to me and pointed at the entrance to the kitchen. Interview starts in there. It's all yours. The kitchen? Thanks. Yep, this was not an ordinary job interview. Pots and pans over here, please. On it. Faster would be better, Joey. Don't rush damn. me. I'm not Quinn, Trinity. Damn, damn. I uh, know. Quinn would have done that and made both the coffee and tea in half the time. Damn, there's like equal amounts of getting shitty on e either end here. And you just slide away. Good, good, good slide skills, bro. I slowly, he <laughs> literally puts Michael Jackson to shame with that moonwalk, I'm telling you. I slowly made my way to the kitchen and watched as a chef and a waiter scrambled around the kitchen trying to reorganize the entire room. The girl, Trinity, seemed flustered and was leading the charge, but the guy, Joey, seemed to be very lax to the situation. Done. Next. Hold on, who are you? You talking about him or me? <laughs> Finally, Trinity and Joey started st uh, turned to me as they took notice of the new person in the room. I wasn't exactly dressed like they were, so it was definitely something that hindered their progress if I was in the way. Uh, hi, I, I was told my interview would be in here. A moment of silence before Joey raised his hands by his head and shook his head. Trinity, the new person is all yours. Huh? Oh, damn, you're so serious. What the fuck? I'm, I'm here for an interview, girl. I looked at Trinity as she crossed her arms and examined me intensely. I felt completely st uh, stripped by her gaze, but I remained in my spot, <laughs> unsure of what to do in the first place. Finally, Trinity sighed and gestured to a sealed fridge. Eggs, milk, flour, and butter. What? <laughs> I watched as she turned and brought, a, brought out a mixing bowl and a hand mixer. Joey stepped back and leaned back against the counter, watching me curiously. Was this my interview? Okay. I quickly made my way to the fridge and took a look inside. Despite hearing that things were reorganized, the fridge was almost packed in. How was I going to find what Trinity asked for? Are you kidding? Holy shit, it's timed! Okay. Flour. Oh, wow, awesome. Butter. There we go. Holy shit, this is actually kind of awesome. I, I, it's been so wow, I'm awesome! <laughs> it's been so long since I've played these kind of games. No, 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 no. Where's the milk? Sweet! Nope. Eggs. Butter. Oh my god. Come on. Wow. Let's go. 30, 29 seconds. I'll take it. I briskly returned to Trinity with the ingredients. And that was actually, you know what? For interactivity, that was actually, that was pretty fun. <laughs> I briskly returned to Trinity with the ingredients she needed in hand. I was surprised at how fast I was able to sort through everything and find the exact food items required. Impressed, Trinity stared at me with a slightly pursed and amused lip. Huh. Ew. <laughs> I mentally patted myself on the shoulder. I knew I was quick to adapt, and this was definitely a show, uh, a show to my quick reaction skills. Maybe I wouldn't fail in this interview after all. Trinity looked at Joey and jerked her head towards the exit slightly. Well then, it's your turn. Take him. Gross. All right, follow me, please. You got it. I looked to Joey as he ushered for me to follow him. I took in a breath and left the kitchen. Another test? Maybe I'd even be faster at the front of the cafe. I was led out of the room, uh, out of the front, where Leia and the guy, I assumed to be Quinn, sat at a nearby table. Joey observed them for a moment and moved towards the cashier before gesturing to Quinn and Leia. Take their order and serve them. I furrowed my eyebrows. Was I not able to get a notepad? Joey raised an eyebrow at me, most likely waiting for me to move. But if I knew anything about being a waiter, I was supposed to have something to fill orders on. <laughs> gr gr gross. We're a notepad-free establishment. What does that mean? 
Huh? No bad free? Meaning that the servers have to memorize their customers' orders. It's to help reduce waste to protect the environment. It's called an iPad. Like, <laughs> invest in some. Since the cashier line can get pretty long with pickup orders, we have servers who can take orders at the table and booths for customers who are here to stay a while. I... Alright, well we better be hella good, because people are going to start getting pissed if we just start bringing the wrong stuff. Understand now? Why not? I can only not. It made sense. Still, it made bushing tables a little more daunting of an idea. At least this place wasn't entirely huge. I took in a breath and approached the table with a smile as natural as I could muster. What would you- what would you two like? <laughs> I'd like a mocha latte with a baked cheesecake slice, please. Alright, mocha latte with a baked cheesecake slice. Black coffee and some tiramisu. Thank you. No problem. Any, any sugar? <laughs> Quickly, I nodded in some sort of affirmation to the order and rushed over to the counter, ready to sp spill the order out of my memory. Shit! And tits! Come on. Oh! Come on, let's see if we can beat our time. I'm not liking the way this is going. God! Come on, we have 10 seconds. No! Harry! Oh, oh. Wow, we beat our time by two seconds, holy crap. <laughs> I was genuinely surprised at how well I handled myself. I managed to get both orders in and out to the table within a minute. Wow, very impressive. <laughs> you bet, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just like the kitchen. Maybe you are the person we need for the Valentine's Day rush. I was majorly confused. Were those tests part of my interview? What about meeting with Kay? A manager? This seemed a bit too convenient to just do stuff, then land a job. Before I could speak more, my phone began to buzz. That must be Kay. Did you text her, Joey? Yeah, I let her know the results. Go ahead and pick it up. Trinity, when? get in here! When? You have your hand up your ass the whole time. I didn't see that. In a second! Dear Lord. Oh, okay. I slowly answered, not expecting what I heard next. Congratulations! You got the job! Fabulous! Wait, huh? I'm sorry. Hold on a second. I got the job? How? What about the interview? Oh my, am, I, am I literally thick? What's, what, am I dumb? What's going on? That was your interview! We don't Obviously. want to waste time <laughs> with just questioning people, so we drop them straight into a simulation of work to see how well they hold up. Lo and behold, you passed! Freaking awesome! Okay, this- how is it weird? That's a pretty efficient way to see if somebody's gonna fit in. So those tests were for the position, I guess? Uh, I was really at a loss for words. Kay could only laugh on the other line as the other people around me seemed to be amused at my expression. It's alright! I know we kind of threw you into the deep end really fast, but we had to make sure you were someone we could trust during the Valentine's Day rush! <laughs> I'm just gonna steal all the cake. The Valentine's Day rush? What do you mean? I knew Valentine's Day was a big day for couples and, and the like, but I would not expect cafes to go crazy with customers. Kay, however, seemed to understand my confusion and explained further. Well, at the Pink Lady Cafe, we host an annual Valentine's Day rush event where couples can come in for three days and enjoy a small moment of joy in a warm cafe. Oh, it's super romantic, don't you think? I mean, I'm, I'm sure to each their own, but this this would not be my idea <laughs> of an, an, an of a romantic uh, little encounter. But I mean, hey, I mean, it would be nice for like breakfast or something, I guess. I guess. What makes this event super popular is that everything on the menu is half off. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoa, half off for desserts and coffee? That's a ballsy step <laughs> for a cafe. What? The event has gotten so popular that we can barely keep track of ourselves each year. That's why we expanded and we reached out to get more help on board. And now we have you, a magnificent fifth member. Huh, how exciting. How exciting indeed. I'm a boss. Wait, hold on. I didn't say that I... Ah. Oh my God. I apologize. I'm going way too fast for my own good. I forgot to ask you if you even wanted the job. So, will you? I mean, if I'm going to come here for the interview, I, I'm assuming that means I'm interested. Yes, girl, I'm interested. My head was spinning. I was the extra help for a mega cafe rush. I mean, it made sense, but I would have at least appreciated an explanation before being tested out of the blue. Still, from the look, I mean, why would it matter what I was there for if it's a job, you know, you know what I'm saying? Still, from the looks of it, if this event really was a big deal, then the cafe needed all the help it could get, and I needed a job. What's the... The payroll? <laughs> You'll be all right, paid $750 for the week of Valentine's Day rush. Great! That's fabulous! Wait, what? 
$750 for a week of work for selling products at half price? How well off is this cafe? At my aghast expression, the people around me started to laugh, probably knowing why I was so shocked. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know all you drive BMWs, okay? Damn, all right, shit. Did she mention the pay? That shocked me too the first time. All right, Leia. Well, this cafe's been in good business for a long time now. I'm not surprised at the good pay. Take the damn job. All right. So, what do you say now? I say, why aren't you here? <laughs> but yes, the answer is yes. Uh, only an idiot would have declined the job knowing that pay. I, I would have been hilarious if I could have actually picked no. I happily accept the job. The group around me cheered, happy at my answer. <laughs> awesome, I'm excited. Since the event starts next week, I'll let the group instruct you on how to get ready. I hope everything works out. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, someone just pushed you over? Before I could question came more, she hung up, leaving me in the hands of my new coworkers. At least they're all happy for me, right? They were cheering and everything. I mean, that's a good sign. Uh, at least like, good, good work. So, I mean, looks like you have to make a choice, newbie. Uh, what? Calling me a noob? Do you know? <laughs> Which section will you be working? In the kitchen with Trandy and Quinn, or up here in the front with me and Leah? I don't know, man. You know, I'm, I'm you know what? I I'm feeling like a little bit of Gordon Ramsay right now. I think, I think I'm gonna go with that. I froze, looking to each of the employees in thought. I had to choose. I was good with both jobs, but I guess I had to focus on one side, of, on one side to work efficiently. I didn't want to ruin the clockwork of the cafe by doing both. <laughs> what? You're all fired, I can do it. Uh, Trinity and Quinn were obviously the chefs at the cafe, and a third would help, at least as someone who would fetch their ingredients and make sure everything was in order. However, Leia and Joey worked in the front and who, and who knew how many people were going to be needing service come Valentine's Day. I had to weigh out my options, kitchen, aid, or server. Oh man. I mean, it's true, you, you kinda need more people on the floor to take more orders, but if the food comes out faster, you know what I'm saying? I guess it's I guess it's the same one and the same. I wanna I wanna, I wanna be Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> uh, eventually, yes. Well, I, I thought that was me. Eventually, I was given an apron to wear for work. Being that I wasn't a chef like Trinity or Quinn, apparently were. I had to wear at least something cover-wise to be able to handle food. Just for safety, I was also required to fill out an examination for a food handling permit. Luckily, Trinity and Quinn knew someone who ex expedited the process, so I was able to work immediately. So you'll be helping us by getting us our necessary ingredients for orders. We'll need you at the top of your game, so try not to fall behind. Dude, I'm not a scrub. Just don't screw up and give us the wrong ingredients or misplace them, okay? If you can do that, we'll be golden. If I screw up and give you the wrong ingredients, I don't deserve to be here, okay? This is the, uh, literally, they're eggs and like butter and stuff. Quinn and Trinity were obviously very close. How close? All right, no one disturbs you guys back here. There's a perfectly good table on the left and right hand side. If you want things to get a bit more spicy, there's some ovens on the right over here. You know, I'm not judging, but you know, if you like hot buns. Uh, however, just from how they presented themselves, you could tell vast differences between them. Oh, they're brother and sister, oh my God. <laughs> Trinity seemed no more. Let me take all that back. I didn't read that sentence. Trinity seemed to be the head chef of the kitchen, focused on her work and unac <laughs> unaccepting of anything below perfection. She didn't seem too harsh as she had a small gentleness in her eyes, but who knew how hard she would be when the rush comes around. Quinn, on the other hand, seemed to be more of Trinity's sous chef instead of being her partner. He was pretty laid back, but had almost an adorable pep in his step and helped whenever Trinity missed a step or didn't add a finishing touch. The pair of them were all striking in the kitchen, just watching them prepare a couple of cakes for the next day. So, was the cafe closed today? Yeah. Kay had to leave for some important business trip, and our manager, Naomi, had <gasps> to fly out to France for a demonstration. Naomi! She's back! Okay, she's freaking back! Whenever we wind up without the owner and the managing supervisor for a period of time, we pretty much close the cafe to prep. The next day we open and everything runs smoothly, as if no one was missing at all. So is this like after all the events of the Seduce Me games, or in, in the middle, or before? You know, it can't be before though, because in, in, in Seduce Me 1, Naomi was still visiting the cafe, so it must have been after that, during Seduce Me 2, or after it. This is awesome. Smart. Yeah. Besides, we get paid for the prep day, so it's worth it regardless if we work or not. Oh damn, that's that's cold-blooded. Jeez, you always bring up the paycheck, Trin. Can't you just, like, enjoy the work? I mean, hey, if it, if it, I mean, I'm, I'm sure being a chef is pretty stressful, but I mean, making food is pretty fun, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I enjoy the work, but I do have to consider my finances. Yeah, no, I gotta pay for all those extra, um... We'll leave it at that. I could see how serious Trinity was uh, compared to the relaxed Quinn from a mile away. Was this really just a paycheck for Trinity, or was Quinn just too relaxed for his own good? Uh, the paycheck is a little more important than- I gotta choose sides? Damn. You have to enjoy your work more than the pay. That's definitely true. 
100% agree with that. See, fun is important, Trin. Oh no, don't start going on those long argumentative rants of yours. Not even <laughs> mom could stop the last one you started. Then just admit I'm right. We have a witness. In oh, your dreams, Quinn. <laughs> Ew, the laughter from both chefs was almost infectious. It looked like working here was going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it definitely seems so. My first day at work was definitely not what I expected. I was asked to go in at 6 a.m. and was scheduled until 8 p.m. later in the day. I could only hope that the rush would not run me. Is that, holy crap, freaking 14 hours? Or no, yeah, 14 hours, what? When I arrived, there was already a lot. I mean, I guess that's not, if we're only working the weekend. When I arrived, there was already a line circling around the block. What? Holy crap. That's hey, what I'd be saying. over here. I'd be dumping. I'm in the alleyway. Aren't we supposed to be in the kitchen? A little step to the alley, and I found the back entry to the cafe. Perfect. Come on. We gotta meet and psych ourselves up. <laughs> right. What the heck? Once inside, I was greeted with an anxious energy. I could tell that all four of my coworkers were nervous, but as I was the new person, I, I knew I added a hefty amount of my own into the mix. So, are we ready to open the gates? You make it sound like this is a terrible thing. <laughs> it's not terrible, more so than it's exhausting. Yeah, I'd imagine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Just gotta pace ourselves. Despite the fear of the day ahead, with a solid nod from each person, we were ready to go. This panic was not going to do me in, and I had to make sure I, m I pulled my weight. I did not want this evening to fail because of a mistake I made. Oh, could you imagine? I feel like such a scrub. And thus, the event began, and the crowd flooded in. Oh, jeez. I need eggs, flour, and milk. Oh, here we go. Got it. Uh, aid! Need a little help on the next order, too. Oh, shit. What do you need? Uh, missing sugar, strawberries, and some vanilla. What? On it! Oh, balls! Do I have less time? I have fucking 60 seconds. Wait! Stop! No! <laughs> Um, what's going on? Am I shitting? I'm shitting. I'm actually shitting. Oh god. No wait. No, this is... There we go. Which one was the sugar cube? Shit! Oh god. Alright, let me calm down. Let me focus up. That's not milk. I need... Come on. Sugar. Sugar. Boss! Which one was the strawberry? This one? Alright, there we go. Come on, come on. Mama! Alright, we're good. Whew. Thanks! You may have saved this cake! <laughs> that was a lot more stressful because it was way more ingredients. No time for small talk, Quinn! Sorry, sorry! The day was uh, so chaotic that I was barely able to keep up. I was on my feet for hours until, to our surprise, the cafe rushed shell for a small moment, allowing us the chance to breathe. Jesus. How many pastries have we made so far? Too many. <laughs> Too many sweets. <laughs> this, is, this is insanity. Quinn could only laugh exhaustingly as Trinity nodded with a sigh. My body did not want to get back into it again, but I knew that our break would not last long. Luckily, we were in the kitchen, so the customers couldn't see us sprawled out. <laughs> we would enjoy the breather, even if it was short-lived. As Quinn finally stopped laughing, he stretched his arms over his head and yawned. Trinity, however, began to walk to the fridge. I should prep some ingredients. Can't let the aide get too tired nearing the end of our shift. How insanely thoughtful of you, Trin! I, w I was fine. I still had like 15 seconds. Uh, thank you, Trinity. Mm-hmm. Gross. Trinity continued towards the fridge and began to slowly move ingredients from it to the counter. Quinn, however, made his way to the corner of the room, um, laying back against the wall, and yawned once again. Uh, I'm, no, let's... Why would I sit... No, you're, you're just chilling. Let me help her. She's the one helping me. I didn't want to be useless at that moment in time, so I decided to help. I followed Trinity's lead and helped her bring out food that might have been needed for the re next chaotic wave of customers. Here, let me help. Huh? Uh, thank you. I nodded and continued to organize the ingredients on the counter, prepping them for whatever menu item Trinity or Quinn might have needed. As I did, however, I noticed Trinity's focus was almost deadly on the food items in front of her. She really seemed to take her job very seriously. Well, good. Are you okay? Hmm. Oh, I'm fine. I'm just concentrating. Yeah, I know, right? Just concentrating on those eggs and milk? Trinity nodded, slicing up a couple of strawberries as she replied. I just want to make sure things go smoothly. Can't afford a mistake with baking. I couldn't help but smile a bit. I mean, you really can't, because think about it. If you mess up somebody's food, you have to start all over again. You know what I'm saying? Especially with it, with like a pastry or something. That's going to take a while to make or something most of the time. That sucks. Are you really... You really are dedicated to your craft, aren't you? At that moment, Trinity stopped and looked up at me. Taking in what I had said, a slight wave of fear ran through me, nervous that I had somehow insulted her. However, Trinity's lips curled into a slight smile and she nodded. Yeah, 
I am. Well, thank God. I thought I was gonna get crushed by the by the boobish. Even as she went back to cutting strawberries, the smile on her face remained. I guess a small compliment could make anyone's day. Hey, you three all right back there? We're chilling. Huh? Yeah, we're fine. Looks like another wave is coming in. Get ready. Oh, jeez. Well, looks like break time is over. Before we knew it, another storm of people began to pour into the cafe, ordering a, uh, custom desserts that had us both restocking the front and serving customers head-on with personalized orders. The entire process was dizzying, but with me ex expediting the process of getting ingredients to the chefs, we were pretty speedy with the food. I couldn't even feel time pass by and the day end. Day one closed with us barely having the energy to speak to one another, only able to say our byes for the night. What? what? Once all the people are gone, we can't even talk? Day two is barely different from the first. Uh, with the next day being Valentine's Day, a lar- Oh, that wasn't even Valentine's Day? A large rush of people piled in, most likely to not get trampled during the bigger holiday. At least my body was getting used to it, a little bit. You ready? Great. Yeah, I guess so. This is gonna be even more shit piece than the uh, other I'm day, I'm sure huh? we'll be fine. You said that yesterday. Didn't we do well? Hey, we're here, right? We were fine yesterday, too. Save that energy for the crowds. Alright, hey, here we go. Can you get the coffee beans out of the pantry? And oil. Okay. Wait, I need <laughs> butter, milk, water, and sugar. Got it? Oh shit, there's a lot of ingredients. Is this more than the other day? Oh god. I need okay. Oh, oil, oil, oil. And now butter. Nice. Sugar, where was the sugar? Right here? No, the sugar was somewhere. There it is. Water. And now we need butter, 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 butter. Chocolate. Chocolate. Beans. There we go. Oil. I need more water. Water, there we go. Milk was up here. Nope. Milk right there. Oh, we're bossing. Yes! Was that 29 seconds too? We're literally just bossing it. I, I, I scrubbed it a little bit last time, but you know what? That was, that was pretty awesome. Keep at it! I will. <laughs> I was getting the hang of this. Alright, luckily enough, we were able to get another long break. Trinity spent her time doing prep while Quinn filled with a pastry on the side. Uh, let's, let's, let's watch Quinn this time, you know? Let's, let's, let's be, let's be equal in our curiosities. I was curious of what Quinn was, lo was working on. So I sought, sauntered over and peeked, it sounds like, it like such an evil thing, uh, and peeked over his shoulder. On the counter was a beautiful rose made with apple slices and covered in sugar. That sounds awesome. Wow. I know, right? I'm not done yet, though. <laughs> huh, you're not done? From the look of the pastry, it was done. Quinn, however, laughed and moved his hand to a nearby microwave, opening it and taking out a bowl of warm caramel. Watch this. I watched in silence as Quinn slowly worked with it and molded the caramel into an elegant cage. Caramel left over was used to wrap around a bamboo stick and help set the apple rose on top. What? As the caramel quickly co Oh, he, he like made it come together? That's pretty sick. As the caramel quickly cooled, the entire plate felt complete. It looked absolutely stunning. Wow. That looks like the rose from that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I usually make something to put out in the window every week or so. Since it's Valentine's Day, I figured, why not this? Sweet. I could only stare- Oh, is that the rose from, from Seduce Me, that really nice one? I could only stare in awe as the rose somehow managed to remain perfectly intact on top of the bamboo stick with a cage over it. Uh, if, if the entire thing wasn't made out of food, I wouldn't imagine it being a legitimate movie prop. You have amazing skill, Quinn. For a second, Quinn looked over at me and blushed before laughing and rustling his hair. Oh, uh, th thanks. Uh, but if you like my work, you'd be completely stunned at Trinity's skill. Don't make me regret not going over there with her this time. <laughs> Quinn lifted his head and looked to his sister, causing me to do the same. She was focused on the food prep, so our gazes went unnoticed. She makes me look like an amateur. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but she's definitely a force to be reckoned with. I can tell. Well, I like your apple rose. <laughs> Uh, look at him, he's so, like, uh, could, could you, could you imagine, like, <laughs> after all that? Well, I still like your apple rose. I don't think she could do better than that. Quinn shifted his gaze to me in surprise before giving me a huge smile. You no, know, usually I don't believe that. However, I'll take your word for it for now. <laughs> Great. I know, I've, I've realized I've been clicking on everyone's crotch, I just realized that. I could, oh, <laughs> I could tell that there was no malice between the two siblings, but sometimes a compliment could go a long way for hard work. Quinn lifted the plate up and made his way to the door to the front. I'm gonna go put this in the window. We should get ready for the next wave. You got it. I, I nodded as Quinn left the kitchen. Before long, we were back in the swing of preparing and serving pastries and drinks. Alright, the day was rough, but the three of us working together, we were able to accomplish what we needed in the kitchen. 
Ending the second day of work was somehow much more tiring than the first. Maybe it was because of the work uh, workload, or maybe it was because the, tedious of the tediousness of the job started to get to me. Either way, I had to shake it off and go into the third day, which is... Wait, I keep thinking that the day is Valentine's Day. Now we're on Valentine's Day? Like, I keep messing up. Talk about being nervous. I was internally shaking. If the first two days were merely glimpses of the chaos that would occur, then the actual holiday would be a nightmare. I expected and prepared for the worst. No breaks, no time to settle into any form of autopilot mode. I had to be constantly on my toes. At least this was the last day of the event. However, one question lingered. What happens after the event? Was this job temporary or was this going to be a job I got to keep for a while? The details were never discussed with me, but I guess I had to wait until either Kay, the owner, or Naomi, well, I'm sorry, Naomi, the manager, was available to talk about it. At least this week was worth $725. I'm loving it. That's actually sick. Uh, the psych up for the third day seemed a little off. Despite Leia being the happy and positive one of the bunch, something about her smile seemed nervous for the day ahead, probably for the expected crowds. All right, yeah, gang. Geez. Last day of the event. We got this. Yeah, she, she's lived it. Let's do the best we can. We can do right. this. We can relax and celebrate after. Awesome. You know what, Leah? You're right. Let's aim to get everything done. Then we can have a little event of our own when we close up. Oh my. More hot buns? Uh, and I've been saying this wrong. <laughs> it's Leah. I've been calling her Leah. Uh, we can do that? We can have the hot buns? <laughs> the group nodded, assuring me that a party was okay to have in the cafe after hours. I've had a little energy rush through me, excited to celebrate an event well done. I could get through this. I knew it. Oh, God. Is it going to be like 30 hey, seconds? milk, eggs, and sugar. No! On I'm it. getting some flour for me, too, and some vanilla and coffee beans. Oh, please don't tell me it's 30 seconds. Okay, Quinn. Oh, no, 60 seconds. We're good. Vanilla. Let's try to beat our, our, our previous record, huh? Come on. No. I mean, I'd be dumb about this. Coffee beans. Yes. Yes, bossing it. Come on. No. No. Coffee beans. Where were the coffee beans? Oh my god. Yes. No. Coffee beans. <laughs> I'm scrubbing it. Oh, I'm scrubbing it. Coffee. Oh, we, we didn't beat our time, but you know what? We still did pretty good. I made it. I sped through requests and lists of items with ease, allowing Trinity and Quinn to focus on re restocking the pastries and baking the multitudes of requests asked for them from the front. Both seemed grateful, but were obviously more focused on getting their jobs done than sending even a verbal word of praise my way. It was for the best. No point in risking a possible mistake. All right. Around the end of lunchtime, we finally had a silver... I'm sorry, sliver of time to breathe. Trinity, of course, moved to prepare for the next wave. Quinn, on the other hand, made his way to the corner of the kitchen, working on another side project set of pastries. Uh, let's aid Trinity again this time. All right, I helped Trinity. The prep work she was doing was helping us phenomenally fly through the waves of customers with ease, so every little bit of work counted. I stood beside Trinity and sifted through flour while Trinity began to measure out water, oil, and milk into uh, sealable measuring cups. Thank you for helping us. We really appreciate it. Wow, that's actually a really good idea. So she has everything all measured out already. That's pretty sick. I stopped for a moment, looking to Trinity. She sounded insanely sincere, which threw me off a bit from how she usually acted. Still, I was happy to know that she appreciated my help. Absolutely. It's my job to help, after all. Trinity's lips curled into a smile. You know, I started out as a KitchenAid. What? Does that mean I'm gonna have boobs like yours? No, I'm just kidding. Really? <laughs> yeah. First years in my culinary school were always KitchenAids to the upperclassmen. Sure, the official name is sous chef, but we didn't feel like we were proper sous chefs. Trinity placed her hands on the counter and looked up at the sil silver lining of the wall, becoming visibly lost in the reflection. It gleamed. Back then, we felt like we were running around like chickens with our heads cut off. We complained all the time about the upperclassmen, until it became our turn to be the head chefs. When that happened, we realized how important it was to appreciate the help you got. I may seem brash or quick to anger in the kitchen, but I know that there's a lot on the line when it comes to cooking for people. Yeah, darn tootin', you don't want to leave a turd in there. So yeah, I'm sorry if my first impressions really burned at you in any way. No, I'm... I focus to get the work done because I know how hard it is to get it right. But you help it makes things a lot easier to manage. So thank you. Absolutely, I'm, I'm here to boss it out. Trinity finally turned to me and waited for my reply. Trinity was hard set and focused when I first met her, but I was glad to go through this with her. Right, ne uh, maybe now that I had gotten close to her, maybe I could learn more about her in time. Hey, next wave is coming up. Oh, well, shit. time to get back into it. You ready, Aid? Yep, balls to the wall. For, <laughs> for the first time, Trinity, I mean, 
maybe not like literally because it is a kitchen that's kind of unsanitary, but you guys get what I'm saying. Trinity cracked a smirk in my direction, almost as if she was challenging me. I, however, was up for the challenge, nodding. Absolutely. All right, it was over. It was finally over. After wave upon wave of customers, we tore our way through the crowd and managed to feed every person that came in with, with precise ease. Let's go, we bossed it. The Valentine's Day rush had ended, and there were no more customers to deal with after 8 p.m. Each one of us felt sweet relief as Le Leah twisted the uh, deadbolt in the front door and officially locked up. Nice. We are now closed. Good work, everyone. Sweet, where's the party? We did it! Oh, what a week. I'll talk right? about it. That was a lot. Wait. We definitely had more customers than last year. It was only three days. What do you mean? Well, we can thank the biggest space for that. We had grouped a pair of tables together to make a large eating area for us. Yes, the party's still on. To sit down and actually be able to fully sink into the chair was absolutely pleasurable. Ew. <laughs> oh, almost sexually so. And right when I was thinking, you know what? It's not going that way. It went that way. You know, my, my cheeks apparently were being pleasured. Uh, to think that I had made it through three days of intense work, the payroll was going to be well worth it. Queen rushed into- So, we got paid for three- three- seven hundred twenty-five dollars for three freaking days? That's awesome! Queen rushed into the kitchen and brought out a, a gorgeous pink and, and soft yellow cake, sitting it down between all of us and slicing it up for consumption. I was ecstatic to see pink velvet inside and couldn't wait to eat. You guys are amazing. You too! We're amazing. We couldn't have done this without you! I know. <laughs> I looked up to see all four of my coworkers looking up at me with genuine smiles. I couldn't help but smile as well. I was happy to help, and if I wanted to keep this job, I would be able to work with them a little while longer. Why wouldn't we, dude? This was awesome. As I thought of that, my phone began to buzz. Hello? Hey! Well, it's you. I heard you did a fantastic job during the rush. I hope it wasn't too difficult to handle. No, like I said from the very beginning, we bossed it. Okay, we were, we were bosses from the very beginning. Oh no, everything worked out in the end. Good! Awesome! Alright then! Well, I've already mailed your paycheck, so you should have it by tomorrow. But there is one question that still remains. Give me the job, girl. Would I continue working there? If the question is if I want to continue working here... Damn! Just, I don't! <laughs> no, I do! That was pretty sick. What, what, what happens if you say I don't? In all honesty, this seemed like a good job to have. The pay was good, the people... I mean, we could have chosen to not do this from the very beginning, you know what I'm saying? So it'd be pretty interesting to go back again and just see what, if we go all the negative routes and everything, just what, what exactly happens. The pay was good, the people who worked here were great, and who knows, maybe I could wind up going far in the future thanks to this job. I was willing to stay a little while longer. Everyone around me seemed extremely happy at my answer, eating silently to not disturb my phone call, but grinning from ear to ear. Great! Naomi, the manager, should be returning tomorrow and she'll be able to work with you to sign the tax papers and stuff. Yes! Legalities and all. You know, what's up with that? What do you mean, what's up with that? It's a necessity. <laughs> but yes, Naomi, let's go. We, can we get to see her, please? Huh, right. Alrighty then. I look forward to seeing you in the cafe. Have a good night. Is this the same girl that voiced that other chick that, that like, always did the outro to seduce me? She, you know, the one with the broken shoulder? You know, it was all up and everything. Dislocated shoulder. You too. All right. As I hung up, uh, Leia let out a gigantic cheer, scaring everyone a bit. Yay! You listening? That was my private phone call. <laughs> Hold on, we're a family now? I already have one numbskull brother. <laughs> I heard that! We've always been a family. We work so well together, it only makes sense. I guess so. I'm still clicking on crotches. I was happy at Leia's excitement, but I was more excited to see what the future would hold. Would I like it here in the long run? Who knew? Still, it was something worth exploring. Perhaps the Valentine panic was a good panic after all. End. Alright, so it was resolved. So that was pretty cool. We have, I, I want to go back really quick and just run through it on like the negative side of things and see if we just don't go with the job and we, or, or if we go with it and then say no at the end. Will the game just end? Like, do you have to pick that route or is there another way to go about it? We'll have to see for next time. Let me know if you guys want to see the other routes uh, in the comments down below so I can actually go through them. But this was really fun. Uh, it was a really chill game, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I liked the little... Honestly, it's been a long time since I've played those little puzzle things and I actually... Have, was really fond of them growing up and everything. Uh, so that was pretty fun to revisit it after so many years. Uh, and, you know, trying to beat your time every time, like a, like a personal goal and everything, that was pretty fun. I think the only thing that would have made it even more fun and more challenging is if the time was reduced even more each day. You know, so it was like, 
60 seconds for the first, you know, actual day of work, like not the test. I think the test was 90 seconds. The first day being like 60 seconds, then 45 seconds, and then on Valentine's Day, like 30 seconds. I mean, even I only beat that one time. I got to like 31 or 32 or something like that. So I, I was just a teeny bit shy. I would have been like one second shy of failing. And the other one I did go a bit over. So I would have failed that one. I would have had to redo it. But uh, that would be pretty cool if it kept getting progressively harder or something. Or maybe 35 seconds if you don't want to make it too hard. Because 30 seconds, you got to be like really precise. But either way, this was really fun. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Again, remember to turn on bell notifications if you haven't already. To stay up to date on all my latest content. I'll see you guys down in the comments. But until then, definitely make sure you rate the video what you think it deserved. If you did enjoy, please consider sharing the video as well. That kind of stuff really helps me out, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or any social media really, or even word of mouth with your friends. That's really awesome too. Of course, it directly helps me as well as the entire community and is greatly appreciated. So with that being said, if you want to become a Sage in Training, make sure you subscribe today. And as always, this has been Mr. Bazy, your favorite Sage, and I'll see you in the next video.